In this clip and the following clips, we're going to look at projectile motion at an angle. Now something is uh, thrown like that and there's a force applied to get it going at a particular velocity and at an angle. But once the force is removed, it's in free fall and the only force acting is gravity down. What's keeping it going is the inertia of the object. Now, in order to understand this and to do questions, we need to see the big picture. There are two simultaneous motions, the sideways motion and the up and down motion. So let's look at these. Let's look at the initial conditions. We have an object and we've applied a force to the object, removed the force and it's now in free fall. It has a velocity at a particular angle. And of course, it is the components that allows us to analyze this motion. Notice how we can add these two components together to get the velocity and the angle is there. Those two are usually given. And so we can find the horizontal component, V sub X, and the vertical component, V sub Y. In most cases, your first step, find the components. Now we've done this many times, so here we go. VX is adjacent to the angle. And so we write down V cosine theta. And then we work out what the number is. And here we have Vy, the vertical component, will be V sine theta. The horizontal component is constant. That projectile is moving in the sideways direction at a constant velocity. Look at that little horizontal component. Always the same length. Always pointing in the same direction during the entire flight. If a huge eye were to look down from above on that motion, from way up high, it would see that projectile moving in a straight line at a constant velocity. This horizontal component is used to calculate what's called the range. How far has that projectile traveled? Uh, how much ground has it covered? How much direction or distance did it cover in the uh, x direction? I use d sub x to represent that. And since the velocity is absolutely constant, d sub x, distance, is velocity times time. The sideways velocity, the horizontal component, times t, the total time that projectile has been in flight. Now let's look very carefully at the vertical component. Watch carefully. The vertical component starts with a certain value and then decreases passes through point zero, reverses direction, and comes down exactly the same as a ball thrown up and down. In fact, all of the mathematics we use to describe that motion is used to describe this projectile motion. And Vy is the initial velocity in the upward direction that we will use in the kinematics equations. And the vertical velocity at the very top of that motion is zero. It still has a sideways horizontal velocity, but in the vertical direction, it passes through point zero. And the vertical component determines how high the projectile goes, and the vertical component will be used to find out how long the projectile is in the air. And we use this Vy in all of the kinematics equations as V initial. 